Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Center and I am back with another garden project. So if you've been watching the channel lately, you probably saw that, not where to watch, but five minutes ago, I just finished planting up the stock tank garden for the year with strawberries and cucumbers and some English lavender. And now we come around the side of the house, luckily to a shadier spot because it is hot over there. That's why the vegetables are there. And we are going to be trying to plant up my window boxes. I say trying to because they still have last year's um, soil in them. And so before I can plant them, I need to take out at least half of the old soil, fill it with new soil and compost, and then I can plant the plants. But before I start doing that, I will tell you what I'm planning to plant in them. And then I'm going to do each um, set of boxes. So I have this one, the craft room window, and then the last set of windows down there. So I have three sets of windows, six window boxes. I do each set and then move on instead of doing all dirt, all flowers, you know, more assembly line style. This little crank model is doing well. Anyways, um, this year, last year, let's go back to last year. So last year was the first year that, well, that I had the house, but that we hung the window boxes. I will leave that link down below if you want to see how we hung them. But once we hung them, I also did a video on how I planted them because after buying the house, buying the window boxes, filling in the window boxes with low budget plants was high priority. And this year we are still on that low budget. That happy but house poor, you know what I mean? So we're going with a few of plants as we can that will get as big and bushy and happy as possible. Typically with planters, since they're not you're not planting something in the ground, you're planting it in a planter. You can pack them full. I mean, you could put, I could probably fit 10 plants in here, but I have three because budget. So instead of going in the store and buying a whole bunch of really pretty things for a lot of money, I have bought two flats. One of these proven winners, Super Tunia Vista Pink, and one of these proven winners, Verbena, they say they're Super Venus Stormburst, which is this purple and white color. I had one that had the purple and white on it. Here it is. Okay. So this is what Stormburst is supposed to look like. Now, when I got these at the store, I got a whole flat of them. All the tags say Stormburst, but half of the plants had white blooms instead of the purple and white. But you can see it says Stormburst. So I did ask the people who worked there, is Stormburst half purple and white and half white? Are they different varieties? Um, I could have gone up and asked the actual owner of the nursery. I'm sure he would have known as he works directly with criminal owners and he's very knowledgeable. I talked to him last year and he helped me to actually receive my whole lawn. But he was busy. I just asked one of the girls. She had no clue. And seeing as you could buy each plant for $9.99 or a flat of $15 for $60, I bought a flat. If some are white and some are purple, I'm good with that. So we are going to go ahead and plant them. They get big. So last year we did the super tunias, but we did them not in bubble gum. We did them in... Bordeaux. Sorry, there is literally a gecko like right behind y'all puffing out his throat. It's really cute. Um, in Bordeaux, and I think Silverberry is the name of the other variety. And then I did Vincas. I decided I wanted to do Verbena this year. And then as a last minute addition, I picked up three of these. They are a quarter line. These are annuals. And they are just tall, kind of thriller-like plants. I just got three of these for the very center. They actually are supposed to get really big, 36 inches tall. They won't get quite that big in a window box, but they'll get big. So all of these things should fill out. I'm gonna put some pictures of what happened last year, where we started, 
where we ended. I never did get a really good picture of the one of boxes in their full glory last year because I just had so much going on. I'm going to be much better this year. I have a plan about chronicling, about taking pictures of everything all season long and not just at the beginning. Um, so we will have really good pictures as the season goes on, how these go out. But we're going to get started or we will not get through all the window boxes. So we're going to start by just taking the plants out. I have laid them all out all the way down because I have three window boxes, one window box, two window boxes at the end. I always like to lay them out how they're going to look with the plants so that I can easily move them around in their containers before they're actually planted. And I've come up with a configuration that I like. For these three, it is verbena, petunia, verbena, petunia, tall plant, petunia, verbena, petunia, verbena. So everything is symmetrical. And then the middle window box is verbena, petunia, tall plant. And we have a little bit of a difference down there because you can't put that middle plant directly in the middle of a window box, it is on an edge. So we have tall plant and my one petunia silverberry that's coming back from last year. So we're gonna put that next to it as kind of a centerpiece. So let's get started. I'm gonna take all the plants down and start taking the dirt out and we'll just see how long it takes us. I guess if we don't get it done today, we'll keep going tomorrow. So I am finished. I got it all done in one day. Got all the dirt switched out, got my slowly spillers and put in, got all my plants in. I did go ahead and pin back probably like every other stem of the plants that looked good, the plants that looked long and stringy. I went ahead and cut back to two or three inches. They will flush back out bigger and better than before. I hate pinning them, but you want big pretty plants, so that is the best. It is look like it is. That's English. It does look like it is going to rain. I am feeling raindrops. I am seeing raindrops. So I think we finished just in time. Normally I would water these in and I'm going to start, but I guess if it just starts raining like crazy, we don't need to water them in. Now of all three, you will notice that the middle one does not have this little awning over it, and that lets it get so much more water than the other two sections. So you might have noticed, you might not have, that I did take out almost all of that dirt, as opposed to just about half, three quarter, I went to about here with all the other ones. And that was because all that water can make that window box bigger and better than all the other ones last year. But it also meant all that dirt was full, full, full of roots. So I did want all those roots in my new window boxes. And honestly, if you can afford it, putting fresh, brand new potting soil in your window boxes every single season, 
is the best solution. You know, they're they're not in the ground, they're in one of the boxes, which means these plants only receive nutrients or water that you provide, or that if it rains, you know, they can't just reach down deeper and get some nutrients. So the best thing you can do for them is to give them really good cutting soil. Um, three bags did this leaving half. I couldn't afford six bags this year, but I did have a bag of compost, you might have noticed. So I did a full layer of compost across the bottom of every window box. So when it gets down to about here, and the roots are going really good, that's going to crap out of me, it will hit that layer of compost and that will help those roots grow further down deeper, even though there is older potting soil at the bottom. And that is older potting soil, which is important in containers that either using something like regular material, leaves or such that will naturally decompose, or potting soil, you're not using the dirt from the garden, it does not drain properly in containers. So I'm really excited. I cannot wait to see how these grow this year. Um, it is the beginning of April. I planted my window boxes mid-July last year. So April, May, June, July. We're getting a full almost three, four months head start on what I did last year. So these should be even bigger and better and wonderful by July, let alone the end of the season. So can we go ahead and water it in because no telling. The rain appears to have stopped. It is now sunny. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to water them in. If it rains, they'll get watered twice. There are worse problems. I like my brother's here. He was supposed to be here like two hours ago. He needs to borrow my power. That might be All right, water. Um, I needed like three bags of compost just brought down here. Mom and I did this half. Jim did that half. What? Bags of compost from around the corner brought over there. Like three. Everything is watered in. You can see I did leave at least a bloom or two. I'm just, just a sucker. 
I do want the verbena and the petunias. They'll grow up, but they'll also grow over. So I want them to start cascading and they typically will kind of grow together into kind of a, a riot of blooms. So very excited to see how these all turn out. Never had these before. I'm not really big on grasses of any kind, but it's either that or geraniums. Mom liked these better. So I said, okay, mom, give them a try. You know, if I don't like them. We won't do it again. I did leave a few buds, but just a few. When you cut plants back, you want them to put their effort into new growth, not keeping buds and flowers alive. So few, but not too many. I will be back at the end of the month for my April 2022 overview of the garden. And that will probably be your next look at how these are filling in. So until then, bye y'all.